When I started this business uh, about 20 years ago, um, looking for the right area to set my foundations, Compton came to me several times and the perception of Compton uh, 20 years ago was scary. However, all these companies, including myself, are putting a name in, in Compton. It's not where I am, it's who I'm going to service who, and what I'm going to be servicing. As we talk to people, we realize that lives are very complicated. So when we talk about being healthy and we say to somebody, well, you should eat well, you should exercise more, and then somebody tells you, well, there isn't a supermarket within 15 miles of where I live, or I can't walk at night after I come home from work because it's simply not safe to do so. It sheds a lot of light in, on the role that Kaiser Permanente needs to play. South Bay is an incredibly diverse community. So we serve Palos Verdes, the beach cities, um, but we also serve Compton and Hawthorne, Lawndale, West Coast, Warehousing is a fairly established company providing jobs and thriving and supporting that community. When I first heard about uh, ICC and, and some of their sponsors, I was uh, um, intrigued. Um, large companies like Kaiser getting involved with small businesses, looking at different ways that they can help, not necessarily just by health, but by other means. We were introduced to the initiative for competitive inner city and their inner city capital connections program where we were able to identify, nominate, and bring together a hundred plus small businesses in the part of Los Angeles that faces issues again around unemployment and economic insecurity and bring them together to help them with uh, education around business, finance, strategy, human resources, and to provide them with an opportunity to gain access to capital and grow their businesses and then to create this virtual cycle of creating employment in the inner city. When we help them grow their business, actually thrive and take their business to the next level, that means they're hiring more people. That translates into economic security. It changes the cycle. Working with Jay and working with the owner of the company, I mean, that itself is a blessing, you know, because most places you never get to meet the owner. You know, you're more like a, you're just a number, you're just a, a statistics, you know. With him, I mean, he appreciates and values you as a person. Most of my employees have been with me for a long time. And, and I can tell that they're healthy, uh, their families are healthy. They're getting the health they need, the proper healthy foods, and the medical help because I know they can afford it now. I find employees um, within the community, families are welcome. It means they can commute together and they can work together. I've had employees where I've helped them put down payments on a house because they couldn't afford down payments. If I can help any, any way I can, whether it's monetary or whether it's support, I'll drop everything and support uh, my employees. It does get back to the mission statement, to improve the lives of our members and the communities we serve. And it's that phrase, and the communities we serve, that allows us to expand our thinking about the role that we can play.